Hey guys, uh, in this lecture we are going to prove multiplication property of DFT uh, and the statement of multiplication property of DFT says that statement if DFT of x1 of n is equal to x1 of k and DFT of x2 of n is equal to x2 of k then then dft of dft of in time domain if i multiply two signal x1 of n and x2 of n so in frequency domain uh, it will be convolution circular convolution x1 of k n point circularly convolved with x2 of k but with a scaling factor of 1 by capital n where capital n is the number of point so we'll try to prove it so proof So, what is from the definition of DFT? So, what is DFT of x of n? DFT of x of n is summation k varying from 0 to n minus 1. This is n actually summation n varying from 0 to n minus 1 x of n e power minus j 2 pi by n into k n. Right? So, if this is the case, what is DFT of x1 of n into x2 of n? Right? This is what I wanted, no? Is equal to what? Summation n varying from 0 to n minus 1. So, this x of n comes here and this, 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 this signal exactly comes here as well. Okay? So, x1 of n into, into x2 of n into e power minus j 2 pi by n into kn. So, what do we do is let x2 of n, I will be defining x2 of n. So what is this x2 of n in terms of IDFT equation? It is 1 by n into summation. So, I am not going to take L, uh, k, but I will take some other variable. Uh, in this case, I will take it as L. So because k, it's already been used. Because later on, I have to substitute this equation in this equation. Okay, in this equation 1. So, L varying from 0 to n minus 1. x2 of L e power plus j 2 pi by n into so instead of k I am putting l l into n let me call it as equation number 2 so substituting substituting equation 2 equation 2 in equation 1 in equation 1 So, what do we have as a right hand side? Summation n varying from 0 to n minus 1 x1 of n and instead of writing x2 of n, I will write this equation which is 1 by n into summation l varying from 0 to n minus 1 x2 of l e power j 2 pi by n into l into n into left out term is e power minus j 2 pi by n into k into n. So, rearranging Rearranging order of summation. Rearranging order of summation. Comma. So what I'll do is, so I'll write one by n first, and I'll take summation l varying from zero to n minus one. So this two, I'll write it here x two of l into left out term is summation n varying from zero to n minus one x one of n. Uh, and I have two e exponential and I, ca I can take few terms common. So, I will take e power minus j 2 pi by n into. So, n n is common. So, I will take this term common. So, what is the left out term? So, it is e power minus j 2 pi by n into k and minus into minus plus it is L. Now, so what is x of k? x of k is what? Summation n varying from 0 to n minus 1 x of n e power minus j 2 pi by n into k into n right so instead of k if i write k minus l here 
what happens to the left hand side left hand side also so it's end up with k minus l right so what happens to this equation now so this will be x of k minus l right and what is the left out term this is equal to 1 by n into summation l varying from 0 to n minus 1 x2 of l and this I can interchange because this is a convolution uh, equation and con convolution holds good commutative property so I can write it as l varying from 0 to n minus 1 x this is x 1 right this is x1 of k minus l so this is x1 of k minus l into x2 of l and this equation in short I can write it as this equation in short I can write it as x1 of k n point circularly convolved with x2 of k left hand side is what dft of x1 of n into x2 of n so multiplication in time domain is equal to circular convolution in frequency domain.